What's up guys and welcome to a full day of eating leading up to this year's World's Strongest Man Contest. I've been getting a lot of questions about how the diet's going, how I'm feeling, and overall just what I'm having to eat to get ready for World's Strongest Man. So I figured why not bring you guys along for a ride and show you what I'm actually having to eat on a daily basis uh, to get ready for Eddie this Hall, contest. Before we get now. into all of the eating, I wanna mention real quick the all-inclusive paid trip to come out, watch a Shaw Classic in December in person for one winner and their plus one. The entry deadline for that is this Saturday, October 31st. Your head for lifting? All you need to do is go to Club. Now, if, if you shave your head, you lift less. So it's just Gosh. smarter. Like if you shave all your body hair, you lift less when you do like. Shawstrength.com, sign up there, get entered for that giveaway. This is literally the biggest giveaway that's ever been done in the sport of strongman. And I cannot wait to see who I wins. Race. If you, you know go that, there, right? all of the rules and uh, how to enter is all there. So please head over and check, check that out. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm pumped about it. It's gonna be really, really awesome. And uh, I hope you guys are pumped about that giveaway as well. So let's go ahead and get into the eating now. Starting out with meal number one. What I've got going is I have uh, six ounces of bison patties. Trifecta makes this super easy because these are already pre-cooked. So what I have to do is, uh, is just cut these up. What? Like I said, six ounces of those. And then I have uh, five eggs with five that. Ounces. So I just dump the eggs in, scramble that all up together. On top of that, I will have uh, fruit and also uh, five waffles. So. This is a pretty <laughs> enjoyable meal to get the day going and uh, tastes Five pretty waffles. good. So I always kind of look forward to starting my day with this. All right, so we got the eggs going. Those are looking great. And uh, while those are going, I need I'm going it. to uh, get the waffles in the oven, get those cooking. Mm -hmm. Any syrup on it? Just like yeah. that. Perfect. And we'll go uh, finish up the eggs. This seems nice. All right, so as you guys can tell, I've got my two breakfast companions with me. This is Braxton and this is Kellen. Can you guys say hi? Hi! <laughs> so, recap of breakfast real quick. Uh, we got the eggs and the bison patties. Mm. Um, my fruit today, I'm going with uh, blackberries. So this is approximately one cup of blackberries and That's then um, uh, the five waffles that we cooked up. Are you just eating the waffles? boys are eating the same. Pretty much this is how we roll uh, every day. They're always pretty pumped for this meal. So um, dad cooks it up and then uh, we enjoy it together and uh, try to make it through in one piece. So let's get started. What? How the hell do we eat his waffles? Well, we can at least say that you're getting a real life bref breakfast experience. Ah, no thank you. No thank you. And um, this is this is pretty much par for the course. Okay. Normally they sit down Don't and eat kids. Um, and get done quick. And then they start coming after me to uh, either help me eat my food or to take my food. So. It's kind of a, a, a little bit of a speed race, which I've obviously lost right now. <laughs> and these guys um, get a little out of control, but they're a lot of fun. Put
of bison patties. We got eight ounces of sweet potatoes. You know how to make videos? One cup of green beans, and then we'll do uh, one cup of rice on top. So let's throw that together. It would be very interesting knowing when he eats. So this is meal number two, and I gotta what? say, it looks cook delicious. It. Wait, it wasn't even cooked. Except the rice. All right, guys, meal number two is down. So that's actually a pretty good uh, quantity of food um, for meal number two. We're throwing in a little bit more, and broccoli. you know, as yes, the phases of the diet go on, typically, no as I've said in the past, what I will do is eat into the contest. So we're bumping it up. The big challenge this year uh, has been the fact that we don't know the weights of the events. We don't know exactly what we're getting into. So kind of what our plan has been is to keep my body weight a little bit lower with the um, knowledge that basically if, if we find out that That's I've got, you know, heavier well, events of the week, with Havikin, now we there, I'm always so uh, ready to go live uh, here on the Shaw Elite Club. So we set the phone up like this, and then I pull the questions uh, just so they're bigger, and I can, as you can see here, they're already starting, all the members are starting to ask questions. So we're going to get rocking and uh, have some fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> that actually what do you amazing? do for calories during a workout? It depends on how long the, the uh, workout is. What do you do for calories during a workout? It depends on how long the, the uh, workout is. Um, I will do different snacks and we'll kind of program those in, especially, for example, on a uh, strongman training day where, you know, there's a lot of setup, a lot of breakdown, a lot of time. Bruh. Moving on to meal number three. So... This one is a like pre-training meal. 12 in the morning? So what I get for this is this is one is bag of sweet potato fries. Ugh. We've already cooked sweet those. Sweet potato um, fries are the worst. So I've actually got to pack this up and take it on the road with me. So that's why I've got the containers out. Uh, next up, we've got uh, uh, shredded chicken that I've got ready to go. If you like uh, right here. fries, we get to add some uh, duck fat to that. So two tablespoons of uh, duck fat. I'll throw that in here, mix it all together, and then for, I guess you get to call it dessert, now I get a Rice crispy Treat to top that all off. So I'm gonna get that packed up. Um, I've actually gotta head over uh, to treatment here, so I'm gonna knock it out and get it done. Ah! All right, so we got the meal ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna head out the door, go get this treatment done, and uh, I will eat this probably in the parking lot right when I get there. Meal number four, this is my post-training meal. So what we've got going here is uh, we're going to a uh, 60 gram protein shake. As you can see, this is an unmarked container. Very, very excited that this prep, I have been using my own protein. So this is a whey isolate, it is delicious, we've been testing it, different versions, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So I have been using that. On <laughs> top of the uh, 60 gram protein shake, I will have a banana, and then uh, with that, I will have a uh, peanut butter and honey sandwich as well. So uh, this is a, uh, a great post-training uh, meal, really convenient, really easy, just mix up the shake and then sit down and uh, have the banana and the peanut butter and honey sandwich. So we're gonna get this blended up and uh, down the hatch. <clears throat> Wrapping up meal number four. As you can tell, I want more. when the boys join me, they I like. More. I know you want more. We'll have to go mix more because you drink a lot of dads. Right? Oh, go sell out. 
they like this deal so typically I plan for extra every meal because I know this is gonna happen but I think right now I'm gonna have to go mix a little bit more protein shake up to me five and this mm, all right hey the final go. meal of the day meal number five and this is actually a substitution I'm not mad about it as you guys know uh, for cheat meals I love pizza I love cheesecake it's definitely my go-to when it comes to cheat meals. So what we're doing now with the diet is essentially manipulating everything going into the contest. So tomorrow is another training day for me. Uh, so at this point, normally what this meal would have been is I would have had roughly a pound of uh, bison burgers. I would have sweet potatoes, I would have a salad, and then I would have some type of vegetable to go with that. So we stayed pretty clean through the diet uh, leading up to World's Strongest Man, and now we're at the point where we get to manipulate it leading into contest um, preparation, training days, if you will. Um, so we get to see how my body's gonna react to all of the phases of the diet leading up. So non-training days, for cheap. example, right now, the carbs are lower, and the, the mark, uh, regular, um, oh, regular, just kind of New York cheesecake, which is, uh, can't go wrong cheesecake. with that, obviously. And then uh, just some Coke to wash it down. So I'm pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, any any little change after you've been eating uh, something, you know, clean for so long is good. So I'm gonna down this and I'm going to enjoy. is not given oh you know this is just kind of a one-off we're trying to manipulate uh, the food that I'm intaking so that it, it uh, has a positive effect on my strength and on uh, the training outcome mm -hmm. so we've Pizza actually kept strong. like I said before we kept my diet really clean calories the groundwork go for calories good. shame on you Bye.